is bringing color to the downtown streets through his work and hoping to make a huge impact there. He sat down with KTK's Annabel Tuggle today to talk about the hardships that put him where he is tonight. Have a look. Driving through downtown Gladewater, you will see all sorts of murals and paintings in front of stores. But what you can't see is the story behind each painting or the story of the artist who painted them. If it wasn't for my mom, I probably wouldn't have that artistic bone in my body. She's always been an artist. Uh, she still is. And that's where my story started. Hilly Shirley says he didn't think he had the same talent as his mother, so he neglected art. By his teenage years, he was doing just about any drug he could get his hands on. Sometimes I would take my shoes off and there would be blood in them, but I would be walking so much just to get more. By his early 20s, Shirley weighed about 95 pounds and decided it was finally time for a change. I just was going to die if I didn't. So Shirley got clean and turned to art for comfort, discovering he did have his mother's talent. Now owning a tattoo shop and painting for other people whenever he can. Recently, that was co-owner of the picket fence and the Labrador, Michael Bailey. I think it's amazing. The picture I gave him was a sheet of paper. And he just looked at that and did it right here on the wall. Although Bailey is impressed with the murals Shirley painted for their business, he's even more impressed with his character. I know he's super helpful and he's very important to a lot of the businesses here in downtown, including us. He's told me his desire to uh, make the streets prettier here by painting some of the, the old buildings. So whether it's through art or just having someone to talk to, Shirley says he wants to help where he can. not Because although art didn't make Shirley get clean, he says it brought color back into his life. It, it kind of does keep me, help me stay alive in different ways. But for a lot of us, it's art. That's the only thing that we have. In Gladewater, Anable Tuggle, KETK News.